The last video on coming up with ionic compound formulas deals with multivalent ions. And multivalent ions can have more than one possible charge. The first charge is, that is listed in the periodic table is its most common charge. So I've tried to copy this down, but it probably is better if you just look in your own periodic table. Chromium can be chromium-3 or chromium-2. So we say that it's multivalent. It can have more than one possible charge. So these multivalent ions, chromium-3 is more common in nature, but chromium-2 exists in nature as well. So when we're coming up with the formulas from the names, you can see that chromium-3 chloride, chromium-3 has the three positive charge, and chloride, we've seen already, has the one negative charge. And so to balance the um, charge, I need three negative ones and one chromium-3. So its formula will be CrCl3. Often people, once they see this three, want to put a three down here. That's incorrect. This is the charge. Chromium-3 has a three positive charge, and the chlorides each have a one negative charge. Chromium-3 oxide, so if we get, take our chlorides and put them over here and then take our oxide, you can see that we need to make these equal. If I had another oxide, that would be four negatives and three positive. So I need another chromium. So if I've got six positives, I need to have six negatives. And so I will have that when I have two chromium threes and three oxides. So Cr2O3 is the correct formula for chromium-3 oxide. Chromium-3 nitrate, on the other hand, has a one chromium, we start with the one, cr one chromium-3, and my nitrates are each one negative charge. And so if I have one, two, I need another one, I might not even have a, another one written up here. So it needs a third one, right? If there was a third one, if there was another NO3 negative here, that would be three negatives. So chromium-3 nitrate is like that. And chromium-3 sulfate, it has a sulfate and the chromium. The sulfate has a two negative. The chromium-3 has a three positive. So I need more sulfates. So now I've got four negative and three positive. Get another positive. I've got six positives and four negatives. And now I get th six positives and six negatives. So this would be Cr, and I have two chromium threes, and I've got three sulfates. And that's the correct formula for chromium three sulfate. So th the balancing out the charge is the exact same process we've done. The difference is that these ions can have more than one charge. So Chromium-3 could also be chromium-2. And chromium-2 has a charge of two positive. And so if we go back to our chlorides, if I have one negative and two negatives, I get CrCl2. And if I have chromium-2 oxide, oxide has a two negative. I have two negatives and two positives. This is going to be CrO. I have one chromium-2 and one oxide. Chromium-2 nitrate is going to work with my nitrates, and I've got a two positive, one negative, and that's not enough because it's more positive than negative, two negatives. This is CrNO3-2. That's what this represents. So this is chromium-2 nitrate, and the two has to do with its charge again. Chromium-2 sulfate. Um, sulfate, you'll recall, has a... Um, two negative, so two positive and two negative, CR, uh, we don't need brackets, SO4, right? Because we don't have a bracket here because we only need one sulfate. Okay, so that's how you handle coming up with compound, ionic compound formulas from their names. And you need to be an expert at this if you're going to pursue any uh, chemistry 20, chemistry 30. And this is one of the places that people tend to get confused. So you need to do lots and lots of practice.